I, am 35, overheard that my son would like to call me dad. How do I approach this? In 2019 I found out I had a son who was 12 at the time. And he moved in with me last year. It started out very rough. It was lots of yelling. Lots of arguing. And I'm not perfect. There are things that I need to change myself on how I approach him. Over time, things got better. And we're still working on it. Last night, I was in the living room. And I overheard his girlfriend asking him why he doesn't call me dad. I never questioned it before. Like I said, I met him when he was 12. And he probably just isn't that comfortable with it. At the end of the day, I know I'm his dad. And he doesn't need to call me that if he's not comfortable. His response was not what I expected. He said although he likes it here and thought about calling me dad. He feels as if I view him as a problem. And I don't feel the same way. That was tough. As I said, we got off to a bad start. Lots of yelling and arguing. But I don't view him as a problem. Not one bit. It pains me the fact that it comes off this way to him. And I was wondering how, if I should address this. I don't want him to get mad that I was eavesdropping. But I also want to let him know that I don't view him as a problem. Write him a letter and leave it on his bed. I'm so glad you're in my life. I know I haven't had the opportunity to be a father for your whole life but I'll be your dad. Forever if you let me. Write a letter explaining how at first it was hard because you both didn't know each other and had to learn a lot. He had to learn about you. And you had to learn about him. But that since he's entered your life you love him and want him in your life. And that he will never have to worry about your love for him. You will always be his dad. Sure there will be arguments. Fights or whatever. That's part of life sometimes. But that won't change the fact that you love him and he will always be your son. Communication is always helpful. When you and he don't see eye to eye or there is a conflict. Talk it out. Have conversations about things so that you both can express your feelings thoughts etc on the matter. This will allow him to feel heard. And also allow him to know he can come to you when things are hard without fear. You being willing to listen to his side of things and then state your side of things also allows you both to have the chance to work on your relationship. Trust and communication with each other. Good luck to you both. I wish you the best love an internet stranger. Put up pictures of him and you around the house. If you don't have enough good pics of you too. Schedule a session with a local photographer. Make it known to your son that he is a central piece of your household. I love the letter idea. Also tell him every day. Hey kid, remember. I love you. And I am so damn proud of you. Thank you for making me a dad. Every. Single. Day. Text him if you're laying in bed and realized you forgot. This literally is what family counseling is made for. Even like six sessions could get people on a good track. Sit down and talk about the years since he's been with you. Have him tell his favorite and worst moments and you do the same. Reflect and then tell him how you feel now and that you're glad he's with you. Praise him on any accomplishments big or small. Ask him if there's anything he needs from you now. Keep the lines of communication open. You're doing good if he wants to call you, dad, so don't be too hard on yourself. Mom of two adult boys here. Tweens and early teen years for boys are super difficult in general. Hormones are crazy and insecurities are flaring. Not knowing the circumstances in which he came to live w, he may feels lost and unwanted. No matter what you are doing to keep him from feeling that way. An honest open letter would be great. Addressing him by son and ending in love dad. He just needs reassurance and unconditional love. It gets better heart. Letters are helpful because they let you get you words down and out over time and with less emotional interference. 
Then I'd read it out loud to them and make sure you talk about it. So you are all on the same page with understanding. Rough starts are not game over. They are just a rough start. I mean, I don't know if you celebrate but Christmas is coming up and you could put your feelings into a Christmas card without giving yourself away for overhearing them. I'm sure you might already know this, but I want to make you aware of something. As the father of two young men I can tell you that even at his age, being a parent is all about the time you spend with him. As for him wanting to call you, dad, that is pretty FC King awesome. Biology is one thing. Being a positive influence in your child's life is entirely another. And it sounds as if you are working daily toward that goal. Congratulations. If you've been on Reddit for any length of time at all, you've certainly read horror stories and that kids and adults tell about their horrible excuses for parents. Remember, too, that nobody is perfect. As adults we should know that very well by now, especially about ourselves. But children need to understand it too. And they need to understand that you're not perfect. And neither are they. Don't expect any more of him than he can handle. But raise him to be the best person he can be. I imagine that it has been quite difficult for you. Because you aren't starting with a baby. You're starting with a preteen. And you don't know how he was raised prior to this. If you feel comfortable talking with him, then do it. Just remember to do it on his level. If writing is your thing, do that. I know that sometimes I'm able to verbalize what I want to say to my young men. But other times I want them to have it in writing. So that they can refer back to it at any given time. So that they have written proof that their father would drop everything for them. I don't know how it'll end up with you. But I want you to know. In all seriousness, that being a dad is by far the most fun and most rewarding thing I've ever done. I wish you both nothing but the absolute best. Start casually calling him, son. If you're in a fast food joint at the register, say, my son will have the number three meal. Kids really pinpoint those little things in their lives. I think first of all calling him, son, will encourage him. Just throw it in there casually. Son, you ready for dinner? Quote, son, can you hand me the remote? Quote, when he does something funny chuckle and say, you're definitely my son. Quote, second, it's time to unpack what's causing him to feel like a burden to you. Because that's the thing of thing that inspires kids to move out the day they turn 18 and go no contact is it guilt on his end for his problematic behavior in the beginning is it something you said or did a mix of both either way it needs to be unpacked in therapy sit him down and have a mature conversation with him listen to him do not argue make it calm and be non-judgmental and let him express how he feels without getting mad also suggest therapy for both of you individually as well as group also tell him how you feel be open and honest kids usually say things depending how they feel at the moment just try to spend time with him and create a connection finding things in common going to his important events him going to your important events etc it takes time and patience but it's totally possible it doesn't have to be a super serious conversation. Maybe a casual. Hey, I know I don't say this often but just wanted to say I'm really glad you're here, or something like that. Just express that you care about him and are glad to have him around. Give him a hug and tell him you love that he is your son and happy to have him in your life. Therapy. Hugging face. Absolutely do tell him that you view him as someone who enriches your life and that you want to build the best possible father-son relationship you can. You've been in his life since last year. Tell him that you want the best for him and that he's the best thing in your life despite the rough start you had. You can't go wrong with that. 
You don't have to acknowledge that you overheard that conversation between him and his GF. He will draw the right conclusions when you tell him you appreciate him very much. Just tell him my guy. Tell him you love him and are happy to work through any problem that comes your way. Because in the end you only get one dad and you won't ever have a son like him again. Even if you had more children. Maybe communicate with him so he knows? Or you can decide not to and just have an estranged relationship your whole life. Your choice. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.